This is Lesson 2, Sub-Lesson 3, Using Keyboard Shortcuts for Faster Work. In this lesson, we will be talking about key tips and traditional keyboard shortcuts. The key tips is a very nice feature for those individuals that prefer the keyboard over using the mouse, especially with the ribbon. The way to activate key tips is simply to press the Alt key and let go, and you will notice instantly that letters and numbers have appeared to represent access to the different ribbon tabs. For example, if I press H, I instantly navigate to the task tab, and you will see I've been given keyboard shortcuts or letters or numbers to help me navigate to something else. So let's say I would like to bring up the information dialog. I can simply press TI. And the other traditional keyboard shortcuts still work within a dialog box. For example, you can press the tab key to navigate around. Shift in tab goes backwards. And obviously when you highlight a button that you're interested in accepting, simply press the enter key. So key tips are something useful. However, some people prefer to use the mouse for most navigation, but use a keyboard shortcut when their hands are already on the keyboard. Let's say, for example, I recently worked with task 13, and now I would like to navigate around using the keyboard. Some popular keyboard commands that you will find useful include Control plus Home, and what that will do is navigate you to the very top left corner of the screen. And you're probably familiar with Control and the End key, E-N-D. However, in Project, it's recommended that you tap the Home key following that. And that will take you to the beginning of the last row. So let's review. Control Home is the upper left. Control End followed by the Home key is the bottom left of the last row. Some other commands that you might find useful will affect working with the right side of the screen, the time scale side. Alt and Home will always navigate you to the beginning of the time scale, and Alt and End will navigate you to the very end of the time scale. That could be a nice shortcut if your project is fairly long. Let's use another keyboard shortcut called the Go To option. This one is very useful. All you simply do is click on any cell and press the F5 key, Function 5 key. In Project, it has two purposes. It will either quickly jump you to a row ID number, or the other purpose for that is it will quickly jump you left or right on the time scale to a specific date. And you can pick something in the past, something in the future, you can also type in a date that you might be interested in. And it will adjust the calendar. You might be familiar with F5 as a go-to command in Word and Excel. In Project, it is a little bit different in that it either scrolls up and down on the left side of your screen or left and right on the right side of your screen. I assume you will find other shortcuts that you're familiar with or begin to use based on your desire to use those keyboard commands. Please feel free to give those a try. This concludes Lesson 2, Sub-Lesson 3, Using Keyboard Shortcuts for Faster Work.